Hey guys, it's Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus and welcome to the final tutorial when it comes to Calico. She is basically done. She is rigged. She's got con foot controls. She's got painted weights. She moves around. She can roll her eyes at you if you wanted to. Like, come on. Um, she can really give her personality now. You can actually get her to move. So that's exciting. Uh, one final thing though is blend shapes, which is how to create face expressions. So I'm going to show you the basics. Let's go ahead and duplicate the character's face. You'll notice that it's locked. So we're going to right click over here and just say unlock. So that will remove the lock. Let's center that pivot, move it. We're going to need a couple of these. So let's go ahead and duplicate this one, this one, this one. Do not delete the history. Um, that would be very, very bad. Just keep the influence. So the interesting thing about blend shapes is that I can actually create face expression with this particular face. So I'm going to go ahead and choose, um, let's see, what do I want to choose? B. If I select, let's say I want to give her a little bit of a smile. So I have, I clicked on B, the letter B, which is a smooth select, and I'm going to lift this side of the face up a little bit. So that's going to give me a little bit of a, uh, of a smile. Uh, maybe if I hold down B, the influence can be a little bit bigger. Right now she looks like she's smirking, but uh, let's go ahead and bring her up a little bit, a little bit more. And of course, when it comes to smiles, usually your cheekbones go up. So make sure that when you're looking at smiles uh, and you're doing blend shapes to, you know, kind of look at the whole thing. So let's give her a little bit of a smile, bring her out a little bit more. Like that. And you may be wondering, why am I only doing it on one side? <laughs> eh, let me fix a couple of these. Because usually you can get twice the expressions if you have one, one side has a smile, the other one has another smile. Notice that it's like a smirk. So you can get a smirk or you can create a smile. So this is going to be her um, left smile. Um, let's go ahead and do this one next. V vertex B, maybe a couple more, make it faster. Click a couple of these up. Make sure that she smiles with her face by bringing this up a little bit. Up to the left, something like that. Okay, so this is going to be her right smile. And then let's say I want to make her, um, maybe I want to make her eye furrow a little bit. So again, grab a couple of vertices here and bring them down so she looks a little mad. Maybe this can go up a little bit. So that will be, mm, let's go ahead and grab a couple more. Just want to make sure I get that sharp glare. You know, we want to make sure that it's like clear that she's upset. Something like that. So that's going to be her left furrow. And same thing over here on this side. So yes, modeling is still part of the game. Sometimes companies have uh, modelers that will do this for you. Sometimes you have to do it as a rigger. So it really depends uh, what the company's um, policy is and what who they have hired. So just keep that in mind that sometimes you're going to be the one that's like, all right, I guess I'll do it. Whatever it takes to make the piece look good. <laughs> um, let's see what else we got. We got half smile, half smile. We got furrow, furrow. And then um, this furrow is much more dramatic. I'm going to make it more dramatic on this side too. Let's see. Cool. 
Um, she already looks surprised, but maybe I can make one side that's going to be surprised. So let's go ahead and grab a couple of these guys. And lift. So again, it's like surprises, like your eyes open up, everything opens up, right? Everything's like, what happened? How did this happen? Just really surprised. And it's okay to push it a little bit further than you want. It's up to the animator. You don't want to go too crazy, but um, you know, it's okay for the animator to have limit, like uh, really get a, a nice surprise look. I'm gonna push this out a little bit this way. Get that arc going. And uh, this is left surprise. Okay, oops. This one's going to be um, right furrow. Anyway, you can go on and on about face expressions. Let's go back to vertex. Let's go ahead and surprise her here too. Like, what happened? Maybe a little higher for this one. Cool. Uh, actually, let me duplicate another one. Again, we're going to have to unlock this one. Unlock. Center the pivot. Shoop. All right. Let's move this down. Um, let's save this. I haven't done a blink. This is going to be the left blink. All right. Blinks. So blinks are, there's different types of blinks. Most of the time, um, the bottom lid goes about two thirds of the way. And sometimes you need to shape it because it will go over the eyelid, the eyeball. So it's important that you shape it. So the top lid goes about two thirds of the way. Oh gosh. And then um, the bottom one is going to meet it about a third of the way. I need to flatten it a little bit. So you thought the modeling was over? Nope. Go ahead and try to get these eyelids close together. Whatever it takes to make it look good. She probably needs more mesh, but hopefully that gets you the idea. That's the left blink. And oops, you gotta duplicate another one. Oh well. Duplicate, control D. Select these, unlock. 
center the pivot, move it to the right, and then we'll do the same thing on the other side. It's too bad I can't duplicate this and flip it. I'm going to try it. Duplicate. Negative one. I don't think it's going to work. I'm going to call this right blank test. Man, if it works, it'd be great. Um, I doubt it because it's got this negative and I can't delete the history. Well, maybe I can. Uh, let's see. Modify freeze transformations options. I can actually just do. Let's see if this works. We'll see. <laughs> I'm going to test with you. That's how you do this. You just kind of test things and see if it works. Um, let me go back to freeze transformations. There we go. All right. Uh, this is a test. So this is going to be right blank the old fashioned way. Oh, gosh. OK, I think my computer is freezing. Just give it a second. Yep. And it crashed. All right, I will be right back. All right, so it saved, and unfortunately, the face, the blink, didn't work out. But uh, let me just demonstrate to you what it's going to look like. So I'm going to select this, guys. Shift select the face, and then under animation, there's something called deform blend shape, and then go to the options. Uh, usually, I just call it face blend shapes, and then create. So what does that do? Well, if I select my model here, I now have something called face blend. And what's neat about this is that I can actually middle mouse and drag this and I can make her frown by going zero to one. So now suddenly she's frowning or I can make her smile. Oops. So I can do well, this one's kind of like a grim, like a cute little side smile, but I can make her smile all the way. Or if I want to make her look like she's giving us mixed messages, you can just get her to frown and to smile. So now she's looking really evil, right? So we can do a lot with this. Um, oops, I have one called surprise, so I can actually lift her eyes up and I have to label this one. So now she's surprised and smiling. So you can get a lot of reactions or you can even turn off one. So example, let's turn this one off and then you can just be like, what? So there's a lot of great things you can do with this, with this like look. You can actually maybe throw this one and uh, maybe get rid of the surprise on one. Surprise her. So then you get like this really interesting look. So by having multiple types of face expressions, you can actually create a lot of faces with just a few blend shapes. That's going to be really, really important when you're trying to create face expressions. You don't want to be limited to just smile and to frown. You can have crooked smile with a surprised look and all sorts of stuff by having multiple blend shapes. And that, my friends, is how you create face expressions. Sorry the blink didn't work so well. But uh, you guys can do it on your own free time. But at the end, you want to just kind of group this. Probably shift parent this out of here. And this is just going to be called blend shapes group. And you just want to make sure it's under calico all, but it shouldn't really move. So I would grab that group, right click, uh, lock and hide selected. And then, um, oops, before you do that, you might want to zero this out. Well, actually, you can zero these guys out. So you can select these. You can hide them. And this one you can just lock and hide selected. And there you go. She is ready to be animated. So I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Please subscribe to my channel. Uh, go ahead and take a look at academicphoenixplus.com and take a look at some videos, some free to downloads, and so much more. And of course, I would love to hear your comments. So I know this was a lot of information, but uh, hopefully this kind of demystified rigging for you and that you'll be interested in continuing to rig and getting your characters to come to life. Oops, I need to lock and hide this stuff too. Ooh, shame on me. I just need this to translate. So right click, lock and hide selected. And hide selected, there you go. So just translate. Cool. All right. Let me save that. Cool. Hope that was helpful. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Keep creating. 
and let's start animating. I'll see you in the next tutorial when we start doing a walk cycle. All right, I'll see you next time.